Why is money important to you? Really think about it. Why is it important? Hey, Jason here. If you've been watching the channel, you've been seeing me go through Johannesburg, showing you how beautiful it is here in South Africa. And most importantly, you've been seeing me talk about success, what it is, and how to get it in the three areas of life that I focus on, which are happiness, health, and wealth. And if you're new to the channel, the definition of success by Earl Nightingale is the progressive realization of a worthy idea. And that's why I asked the question uh, starting this video, why is money important to you? I think after this training I just got off of, it was a live a video call through IG, talking to uh, one of the people that uh, mentors me on trustees and you know, starting to learn how to incorporate my life. <clears throat> he brought up something that was really important and then it really hit home with me. And so I want to just talk about it today because I think this is one of the reasons why a lot of us are not able to fully, fully accept the amount of monies, the money that's waiting for us in the spiritual realm to make it come into the physical realm. If you follow uh, Abraham Hicks, where how they talk about in the vortex. And that's something that I really believe I've seen over and over again, certain times in my life where large sums of money come in or things just happen to work out at the right time. Like even when things didn't look like it was gonna work out, something just came through. And as I've been trying to understand like, you know, how are these things happening? You know, one, how can I make it more frequently? Like how can I make this my everyday life instead of like these sporadic things? And researching it, also, but researching me and being honest about how I was spiritually, emotionally, mentally, what was my thoughts, uh, doing all those things, like, it really hit home with me today when he was he explained this one thing. And so, as he was talking about the importance and, you know, of, um, you know, becoming wealthy, because pretty much what, uh, what it is, you're pretty much getting to where you're you're not paying taxes anymore. Everything's set up like how the Rothschilds and those other big family lineages have their things set up. And it's something that most of us don't know that we can actually do that too, man. And it, it's actually a lot easier than you think. <clears throat> you just got to start following the right people that know how to do it. And so this is one of the things why I'm grateful for the internet now. Like it's so much easier to have that communication with the people who know how to do these things. I wish I would have known this 10 years ago, man. My life would be completely different and so as he was talking he um, he explained that you know one of the reasons that he was so grateful that he was wealthy and he was like you know some of you may not know his daughter was in the hospital and he said uh just that earlier that day that she was actually because he's in the u.s so that's what i'm saying early in the day she was um actually having complications in the hospital where she had pain in her throat uh, I'm not going to go into what details he said about what was wrong with her, but she was having pain in her throat and she wasn't able to vocalize it to the nurses. And so, cause she would have to write everything down and, you know, let's just be honest, man, you know, nurses, they're busy. They're in a busy hospital. They got a whole lot of pressure on them of things they have to do. They wasn't able to give her the attention that she needed, especially, you know, you can't really, you can't talk, your throat is hurting. Like, and so like the, even, the. Um, like the morphine spray they could give her for pain because her throat was so swelling she couldn't swallow it so it couldn't help her and so he was there and he said you know he had to keep talking to him and just make sure and he had to be there to argue on her behalf so she could get the care that she needed and he said you know finally they gave her something and she was able to feel a little relief from the pain but like he said you know if he wasn't rich if he wasn't if he didn't take the steps and keep doing the things he's doing now, like he wouldn't have been able to be on the behalf, of, be there for the behalf of his daughter. And I thought that was really deep cause I was like, you know, what do I really want money for? Is it for the cars and the private jets and things like that? And I'm like, not really. The truth is like, I want to be able to like, let's say if something happens to someone in my family tomorrow, like I can just fly right there. You know, I can go be there with them. I don't have to wait till the end of the month or save up money. Like, and I'm thinking that's probably how you are too. And it's like, I think if once we start resonating with that part of money more, we'll stop feeling this evil. Cause I feel like all of us in a certain level, we've been through so many generations of people being told money's evil, money's evil, money's evil, rich people are bad. 
and the truth is, the, I, at least for me speaking, my generations before me, they didn't have much money and they didn't know any rich people. So I'm, it was like, who kept telling them that if they didn't know? And like, now that I'm able to be where I am financially and start even being able to associate with rich people, I'm really starting to see like they're good people. Like they're really good people. Like it's not like the media saying it's, it's not this crazy thing where people are just out here trying to let me just take everything and everybody else be poor. It's, I don't see that. I see some of the most kind, giving people in the world. And the problem is, from what I see, is everything we're being taught is just wrong. Everything we're being taught is wrong. And also, we're being taught by people who have never went out and got rich or gotten wealthy. So, like, why are we taking and making lifelong decisions of our career from people who are living paycheck to paycheck and we expect something different? Like, I'm really starting to see, like, just the way the system has been, like, we've just been developed in a system of no financial literacy at all. And it's like, you turn around and you look at the state of the world and it's like, what do we expect? Like, People don't even understand what it means to be an entrepreneur anymore. People don't understand business anymore. Like so many of us talking about how we want to win the lottery or, you know, have this million or billion dollar business. But in the end, we think rich people are evil. Like we think money's the root to all evil. Like that's ambiguous feelings. We can't have different emotional feelings for one object and think it's going to come to us. Like it's, it's literally going against the law of nature. Like, you know, like I was listening to Bob Proctor this morning and this is where like all of this stuff is starting to really come through this week of really going deep into this. <clears throat> and he was talking about the law of cause effect and effect like, which means he said like the energy you put out, you must receive back. And now like I'm really starting to see like parts of my life where I was putting out so much negativity towards energy towards money or like paying a bill i'm angry like oh i gotta pay my fucking rent oh i gotta pay my cell phone bill and it's like if i'm putting that, that energy out and money wasn't coming back to me maybe i should try it differently like now i'm like excited when i go pay my rent like oh man i get to pay my rent like man i'm so happy for this oh, i get to pay my my internet bill i'm happy for this oh, i get to go top up on airtime and I can tell you, like, I can see the difference of the energy that's coming back to me. Like, the business ideas I have, like, the I'm writing on my book, uh, my second book that I'm going to start publishing. Uh, you know, the, got the email marketing business, got the Amazon business, like, which the Amazon publishing business did, did really good uh, this month, man. Like, I was shocked uh, the royalties that came in from that. I was, I was like, oh, man, it's getting there, yo. <laughs> like, people don't get it, man. Like, this is... A, you got to make this fun, man. Uh, when you're really starting to learn how to earn and build money on your own from scratch, like it's fun, man. Like it's, it's like how you see those people when they frame those dollars. It's just a little different because you're in a digital world, but like it's fun when you see the increases and in the jumps and uh, the residuals that come back in. So like, but like, I don't believe I would have, been in this place or even got that little residual increase or jump if I wasn't putting out better energy around giving money. Like, how am I you? How am I feeling about my money when I'm filling up with gas in my car or going grocery shopping or ordering from, even if I'm going to get bad service, like, you know, I don't want to, oh, this motherfucker, you know, I don't want to give that energy with the money. Like, man, I hope this person have a better day. Like, these are the little things that I've really been trying to work on and just to improve myself. And I'm telling you, I'm seeing benefits from it. It sounds crazy, but from all this study and all the things I'm doing, I'm like, it's, these are the things that we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be watching our emotions and, but also connecting to things on an emotional level, like especially something that's as precious as money that we, we need as our t tool of trade in the world we live in now. Like, so we need to be more positive about it. We need to be more happy about it. We need to be more accepting and receiving of it.
and not putting conditions on it. And so that's all I wanted to share with you today. I just thought it was very interesting um, hearing that trustee calling in. That just really, you know, when you're doing a training or something, you're thinking, you're looking for these, these technical tools, like, okay, do this, this, and this. And then you just hear this spiritual wisdom, and it's like, that just really stood out for me today. So I just wanted to share that with you. And so if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button. If you're actually looking to start incorporating or you're learning about it too, shoot me a comment down below, man, so we can start maybe a study group or something. I can share with you some of the people that I'm actually learning from also. And most of their stuff is free. That's why I love it. <laughs> like, you can't beat it, man. Like, you just can't beat it. But most importantly, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you just hit the subscribe button so you can see videos like this daily. Plus, you'll see videos I upload when I'm going around Johannesburg. And I'm about to start going on a six-month tour around the whole part of Southern Africa. And most importantly, just remember this, guys. I'm Jason, and success is simple once you know how.